If you don't eat sugar, do you need to brush your teeth? I'm Whitney, a registered dental hygienist. Let's talk. Diet has a major role to play on whether you are cavity prone. And because of that, lots of people on social media are assuming if you don't eat sugar, then you don't need to brush your teeth. But did you know that sugar is also found in fruits and carbohydrates like bread, crackers, chips? Sugar is not just found in candy. It's not just found in desserts. Any kind of starchy food like pasta, pretzels, any kind of carbs, they actually break down into sugar while they're still being chewed in your mouth. Carbs are sneaky sugars. So don't think that just because you don't eat candy you always skip dessert that you are safe from getting cavities. Without brushing your teeth, even so-called healthy foods can quickly lead to cavities. And if you're really only eating meat, maybe you're on some type of carnivore diet, sure, your risk of cavities decreases, but meat can still get stuck between your teeth into your gum line and it's still food debris. So you still need to brush and floss that protein off your teeth. Also, are you taking into account any butter you may have used when cooking your meat, the seasonings, if there's any breading, or maybe you're not using breadcrumbs, but might be using similar substances to flour or wheat when cooking your protein. Something to think about. If you only eat meat, you don't need to brush your teeth is incorrect. There is no diet that can completely guarantee you won't get cavities. Of course, like we said, certain dietary choices can significantly reduce the risk. I'll link my videos on best foods for teeth and worst foods for teeth if you'd like to learn more. But for the purpose of this video, even if you consume only protein rich foods, skipping brushing is not a Advisable. And here's why. Number one, plaque formation. Plaque is a sticky film of bacteria that is always forming on your teeth, regardless of the types of food you eat. This plaque bacteria in your mouth feed on food particles, including proteins, and then they produce acids that can lead to tooth decay. And we didn't even talk about this yet, gum disease. Sure, maybe you're low risk for cavities being on a carnivorous diet, but plaque on teeth don't sleep. You can still get gum disease from not brushing, which brings us to number two, gum disease. Bacteria in your mouth will munch on whatever they can, whether it's proteins or carbs or sugars. And after they munch, they excrete acids and without regular brushing and flossing, plaque will accumulate along the gum line, leading to gum inflammation, gingivitis, and potentially more severe disease, periodontitis. Number three, bad breath. Like we said, protein-rich foods can still contribute to bacterial growth in the mouth. And these bacteria can produce harmful acids that contribute to bad breath. Obviously, if you don't brush your teeth, you're at a much higher risk risk for bad breath because food and gunk is stuck on your teeth. And number four, saliva production. Some people argue that they don't need to brush because their saliva will do it for them. Now, while some foods can stimulate saliva production, which helps clean the mouth, this is not a substitute for brushing. Saliva alone cannot remove all food particles and plaque. You need to manually remove them with a toothbrush and floss between the teeth. In conclusion, protein is good. A diet in high protein can support dental health, but it cannot replace the essential practice of brushing your teeth. I know people are gonna fight me on this, so if you don't wanna brush your teeth, I can't change your mind. But I can tell you that dental work is very expensive. And if you end up getting cavities and gum disease, it will not only cost you thousands of dollars to fix, but it can also lead to tooth loss if left untreated for too long. Something I would never wish upon anyone. So even if you only eat protein, be sure to still brush twice each day, once in the morning and once at night. Floss and or clean between your teeth at least once each day. And visit your dental office regularly for routine cleanings and exams. I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And thank you to the YouTube members here and the Patreon members supporting this channel and supporting dental health awareness. If you want to join the fight in making sure evidence-based dental health information is being shared online, become part of our Teeth Talk community. The links to join are in the description box below. And until then, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.